Good morning. Let's talk about squash bugs. Yeah. apologize last weekend I didn't put out a video but I had to work all weekend so it just you know once in a while that's gonna happen um, but this weekend this week during the week I had a situation I discovered squash bugs on my squash plants now they're very prevalent in my area and they're just horrible I hate them but they uh, I hadn't had any in the last couple of years and I've mentioned this before, but I've had a little bit of uh, luck, and I wasn't sure. I was doing two different things, and I wasn't 100% sure which one was causing it, or was causing the good effect. One thing I was doing is I was spreading granules around the yard to, to control uh, fleas, fleas and ticks. Now, I've got dogs, and they come out in the backyard, and it just helps control them on the dogs. So... I thought, well, that might be responsible. But the other thing I was doing that I really thought probably was, was I've been planting a lot of marigolds. And I've been planting them around, in particular around where the squash are growing. And I really thought that was what was preventing them. Well, this year, I didn't have a very successful marigold crop. And uh, planted my own seeds and started plants. But some of them didn't make it, and I covered that way back this spring but uh, so I ended up with three or four of them around one end of the bed where one plants base was and then nothing on the other end where the other plant was and sure enough the other day I found a few squash bugs now I caught it early there wasn't very many but I saw three or four and so Oh, uh, well, what am I going to do? I've got seven dust, but that doesn't seem to work very well for me. It never has on those. So, I tried something that I've seen done on YouTube before. I got this little sprayer, and I went out, went in the house with it, and I put just a little squirt, not much at all, of uh, Dawn dish soap in it. And then I filled it up with water, and I only got it about half full which I think is about a quart, maybe. Looks like that I about got a quart in it. And I went out and I sprayed underneath the leaves as good as I could get. Went all the way around the plant, just hit the heck out of it. And uh, then I waited. I backed off. Went and picked a tomato. You know, looked at a couple other things that were going on in the garden. And I came back. And they'd climbed up on top of the leaves, at the top of the plants, and I nailed them there. And to my amazement, I they're gone. I've looked, I checked again today, and they're gone. So, and I did look under a few leaves, and I found some eggs, and I crushed them between my fingers so that they're not going to hatch out. And I'm going to need to keep an eye on it. You know, to check them every few days for squash bugs and maybe spray again if I have to. But like I say, I haven't been using any chemicals this year. Now, I want to make a caveat. It's not because I have some high-handed idea about things being organic. I don't. But I've got the rabbit manure, so I don't need fertilizer. And honestly, with this kind of gardening and adding a few marigolds around the edges, I haven't needed it the last couple of years. I've got a little shaker of seven dust in my garage that's been sitting there for a couple of years. So I just haven't needed it, and I'm not doing it. And the reason I'm not doing it, you know what? It's cheaper. So that's kind of my take on squash bugs. By gosh, plant marigolds and get them in and around those squash. I've always noticed that squash bugs show up 
after those squash are in full bloom and they're starting to put some squash on, that's when they'll show up. So I think they're attracted by the smell of the bloom. I don't know. I haven't heard any expert tell me this, but that's what I think. It just makes sense. That's when the timing is, when they show up. So the marigolds, I think, mask that. And I think they kind of repel some insects. And I don't know about the squash bugs for sure. But by gosh, it seems to be working. The plant that didn't have any marigolds around it, that's where the squash bugs were. So that's the end of that. Now, I also wanted to give a quick shout out. Uh, we picked up some new subscribers this, this week. And it's amazing to me because I didn't put out a video last weekend. We've got an Alex, who's a, a private individual. I'm not going to mention the last name. I don't know if he'd want me to. Doesn't put out videos, but he's got one subscriber now because I subscribe to people who subscribe to me. And two Turtle Gardens. And he puts out videos, and I've watched two or three of them. He put one out just, the, I think, today or yesterday about uh, powdery mildew on his pumpkins. It's pretty interesting. He's showing how he's getting rid of that. So that might be somebody you might want to check out to Turtle Gardens. So that's the end of that kind of story. So thank you for subscribing. Uh, please do if you watch these and, you know, you want to see what we're doing through the year. But uh, And give us a thumbs up if you want to. Uh, we always appreciate that. Um, another note I'm going to throw in. Uh, is my son and I are starting a second YouTube channel. Now, this is going to be a movie review thing. We both have a love of B-movies. The horror movies that are kind of campy, kind of silly. You know, we like those. We think those are fun. So we're going to start doing probably every couple of weeks or once a month. We haven't put out one yet. We'll get it out pretty soon. When we do, I'll leave a link or, or you know, something. Uh, but we do them. We're going to start doing this. We're planning on next week. I think there's more people out there that enjoy these two. So you might keep your eye out for that too. Well, all right, folks. Thank you. I don't want this to get long. Uh, I want you to all have a quality day. And by gosh... If you come up with squash bugs, a little bit of Dawn dish water and some dish soap and some water. Spray them down. Get underneath all the leaves. Then walk off for a couple of minutes. They'll climb up on top to get dry. Walk over there and hit them again. Uh, I didn't film the squash plants because it is hot. It's middle of the day and the sun's on them and it's hot. So they all look limp and sad and pitiful right now. Now tomorrow morning when I get home, they'll look fine. But but if I filmed them right now, they'd look, they'd look so sad, you'd think, well, my God, he killed the things. And that's not what happened. So, all right. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much.